When I think back to the long ago days of my childhood, I am transported to Hazleton, Pennsylvania, where my family's Italian grocery store provided the focal point for the Italian community as well as the essential heart of my young life. The pulse of the Scarcella family Italian grocery store became mine as well. In 1903, my grandfather, Oranzo Scarcella, left his home in Pulsano, Italy. However, he preserved the sights, sounds, and tastes of the old country in the grocery store he started on the corner of 5th and Carson Street in 1915. For the next 80 years, Scarcella's Grocery provided the Italian community with foods imported from their homeland. Pungent balls of cheese hung from hooks on the ceiling, while colorful tins of olive oil and other canned goods lined the shelves. In addition, my grandfather was president of the Italian Sons and Daughters of America Lodge, and the store became the hub for community activities. Oranzo and his wife, Josephine, had six surviving children. All remained in Hazleton and raised their families and helped in the store. The grocery was located on the front side of a very large double house where I grew up with my family living next to my father's sister Catherine and her family. Aunt Catherine helped my grandfather tend the store and prepared his meals. My grandfather kept the Italian custom of closing his store in the middle of the day for a long extended lunch. I remember my Aunt Catherine prepared his meal and loaded the kitchen table with homemade meatballs and sausage, pasta, gravy, crusty Italian bread, oranges sprinkled with olive oil, oregano and pepper, a jug of wine and assorted olives and vegetables. As my grandfather cut the meats in the store on the weekend, my father made homemade sausage, adding spices from large jars lining the shelves above the sausage grinder. I fondly remember late night raids on the store to get some snacks to watch horror shows with cousins. There were icy cold twinsicles on a hot summer day, as well as fragrant baskets of bread and fruits. I remember writing up receipts and putting money in the big old cash register and using pincers to pluck Campbell soup cans from high shelves. In 1995, the grocery store closed and the great heart of Scarcella's market stopped. Nevertheless, through vivid memories, I can still enter the Italian grocery on the corner of 5th and Carson and my heart becomes happy.